Hey everybody, Alexis here with another installment of Real Ghost Stories by Paranormal Researcher and Investigator. Told you about the left side of Caddy. I'm going to tell you about the right side of Caddy Basement. Caddy House Cadillac in Detroit. On the left side, Dark Shadow. On the right side, I had my girls down there, Angie, Katie, Diddy, and Ty. Ty, she is six foot one, six foot two, big girl, but scared. It's her first, second time investigating. So we decided to take her someplace semi, not too hard, not too, not, not where she wouldn't be like just sitting there bored, but someplace where she would actually have some experiences, but not too tough. We're in the basement, and she kept complaining that her, something was touching her ankles or touching her feet because she was getting all these really cold sensations. And, okay, we'll take that at face value because that's something only she was experiencing. So we really couldn't discuss it too much or, you know, claim it or not. But when they the girls start to ask their questions and you ask a lot of questions is there a man here a woman here whatever when they started asking their questions they were bombarding each other so they weren't going to get any responses because they were actually asking the question and then another one would ask so i stop them and i said this is how it goes i see two little dots um you're going to ask your question, but then you're going to pause. You're going to wait a minute and give the spirit a chance to answer you. Sometimes, you know, they have to build up energy. So you've got to give them a minute. So I said, it goes like this. Hello, is anybody here? Pause. You have to give them a chance to respond. And I said, sometimes you can even go a little casual. Hey, how you doing today? When I said that, a man's voice answered, and it was almost as if he was standing to my left. He says, I'm doing just fine. How are you? I said, see, that's what you get when you wait. And so we didn't want to push this voice, but I wanted to make sure that if there was an energy there, that it would keep talking to us. So every blue moon, I would ask him a question and hope and pray that I picked him up on my tape recorder or on my camcorder. But I took some things and set them in a little window that divided the left and the right side of the basement. And um, it was a little piece of panel, so I could set things down there. I set a tape recorder there, and I put a camcorder down there. And... Um, I said, watch out because there's equipment over there I'm trying to take from that angle. It's tagged. They know about it. Nobody's going to touch it. Well, I watched as investigators walk back and forth. We all go back and forth as we walk around, and we're trying to feel the energy of the basement and things. So 20 minutes later, when I go back to pick up the camcorder and the tape recorder, there's a gun sitting there. Yeah. And I jump back because it's pointed straight at my chest. And I said, no fucking playing. Who's carrying a pistol? They went, what? I said, yeah, there's a gun right here. And it's pointed at my chest. Well, it turned out to be a toy gun. How it got there, we don't know, but it looks so real. And... I look back at the tape and that was on another camera pointed at that camera because I've been known to do that point cameras near each other but from two different angles. You can see the girls as they're walking by. You can see nothing is there, nothing is there and then about maybe 10 minutes in when one of the girls walks by as she walks by, that little gun is sitting there. That gun is sitting there. We don't know how, 
but we know we didn't do it because we were all accounted for and on camera. But yeah, a gun. Toy or not, it looked real. So, I didn't know if some kid was playing games and, you know, that was his toy, but we didn't see any other toys down there. I'll tell you about what happened on the main floor tomorrow. Peace, love, positivity. You put that out there, it will always come back to you. Bye.